everyone, it's Shari here today and I am going to be making this flowered quilt backdrop thank you card. So of course I'm going to be using the new quilted backdrop die from Lawn Fawn as well as these little flowers. And these little flower dies come from the spring sprig die set. There's a couple other dies in that set but I will just be using the little flowers today. I have a full sheet of Nina Solar White cardstock here. This is actually the 80 pound cardstock, not the really thick stuff. And I'm going to be using almost all the parts of this sheet of paper, so I'm going to make the most of it. So I'm going to cut it lengthwise at four and a quarter because I'm going to be making a top folding A2 size card. And I'm just going to score one of those sheets that I made here, the long sheets, at five and a half to make my fold. And I'll just use my bone folder here to make that nice and crisp. And then for the other piece here, because I wanna make the most of this sheet of paper and not have much waste, I'm going to take this quilted background and snug it up right to the edges on one end of this sheet of paper. So I like to flip it over to where I can see the cutting edge of the die. And once I've got them lined up on the two sides and that top edge, I'll just hold it in place with a piece of post-it note tape. I also have a magnetic plate in my cuddle bug sandwich, and that helps hold it in place too. But if you don't and you feel like it's going to shift, you can always take some of that post-it note tape and wrap it around the sides. So now that I have my quilted background piece die cut here, I have got a great little tip for you. So here I have a little travel lint roller. This is just that sticky masking tape lint roller and I flipped my die cut over and I'm just gonna roll that lint roller across the back side, and it just pulls out all those little pieces. And this has been a great little tool to use on my desk for these little pieces in die cuts. And I do it on the back side just in case that masking tape grabs hold of the paper too much and tries to rip it. At least I won't have ruined my die cut. But it actually pulls these out pretty well. You can see I'm going over just the few that it's left. And sometimes you do have to poke a couple out with your fingers, but it gets a lot of them out. And it keeps them all on that tape and it's actually great. You can use it to clean up your space after you're done too. But now I don't have all those little pieces sitting around. So that's been a great little tool that I have added to my craft desk. Now I'm going to cut all these little scrap pieces of cardstock in all these colors and with the uh, small flowers from Spring Sprig. And I actually am not going to use all these colors, but I cut a lot of flowers. So I have a lot left over for future projects too. But before I get to gluing my little flowers on, I'm going to adhere my quilted backdrop to my card base. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to go on the diagonal between those little flower shapes that get cut out and keep my adhesive on the more solid part of my cardstock. And I'm going like every other row or every two rows. And then I'm just making sure that I get the corners and a couple edges so that this stays nice and stuck down. So now that I've got that adhesive on there, I can just line it up with my card base and make sure it's nice and stuck down. And I have that kind of cool tone on tone look. Um, so it's very subtle background with the white and then the white little eyelet kind of cut out places behind it. I'm going to be using my jewel picker to pick up my flowers and put them down, which made for very quick work. And I'm also going to be using the new Log Fawn glue tube to glue them down. And I really like this little glue tube. It has a nice small tip so I don't get a big glob of glue. The, gl the glue comes out very easily so I can very quickly add my flowers. So I'm just going to start with one row and you'll see that I'm going to do these a couple columns at a time. I didn't want to put glue everywhere, not because it would dry before I got to it, but more because I didn't want to accidentally stick my hand in it. So I'm going to work from left to right because I'm right handed and I'm kind of going to go in rainbow order. And of course I'm going to do this super speedy so that you can see the whole process here. 
actually really liked how it looked with just one row, but that wasn't the idea behind this card. So I'll probably do that on a card in the future. So initially what I thought I would do was go in rainbow order and go on the diagonal. So you can see there I'm starting my diagonal. And since the purple's at the bottom, I went and put it at the top. And of course I realized I did that one wrong. So it easily came off because it doesn't dry too fast. And I could just pull that off and put that peacock flower there instead. But once I got that done, I decided it might be kind of cool to do more of a diagonal because this pattern has a perfect center to do this. So on the next two rows, you can see I'm going back in the other direction. And I decided since I was going to do this diagonal, I still wanted to keep it going kind of in rainbow order. So I pulled that purple flower off and I've added a light pink flower at the top. My glue had kind of dried a little bit, but I was very careful to pull it off so I didn't rip my background paper and it got covered up with that new flower just perfectly. The jewel pricker really helps pick up these pieces and make quick work of this. Um, I also like to use tweezers too, but since these were nice and flat, I think this worked really well for picking them up. And it worked really well for making sure they were all oriented in the same direction. I'd say this overall took me maybe about 10 minutes total. So once you have a pattern in mind, I don't think that it would take very long to fill this with flowers. But I also think it would be really cool to just do a few flowers or do them randomly. Or maybe do them all the same color and do like a tone on tone kind of thing just with the flowers. So now I've got the stitch frame and this is the largest one that's also an A2 size rectangle and I'm doing the same thing that I did with the quilted backdrop. I've got it laying with the cutting side up and I was just lining up the other half of that sheet of paper so that I could make the most out of my paper once again. I'm using a thin glue runner so this is not as wide as most but I really like using this for my frames like this so that I don't have any adhesive sticking out the sides. So I'm just going to go completely around this frame and then frame up my pretty little flower quilt background. So I really wanted this to be the star of the show. So I wanted to keep my sentiment very simple. So I cut the line thanks with the line thanks border die and I've cut it with black so it'll stand out on all these colors. And since this is very thin, I'm actually using my quickie glue pen to um, go across on the back side of it. I think you could use the glue tube, but I was kind of afraid of that glue uh, sticking out. I haven't practiced with it quite too much and this is a very thin sentiment so I stuck with a little glue pin on this one. And I actually wanted it more to the side. This die cuts a line long enough to where you could go and center it up or go long ways across a card but I wanted this to kind of sit to the bottom right corner. So I'm just carefully making sure it's stuck down and it's nice and straight. Um, it's very thin so that line kind of moves around a little bit, but that quilted background with the lines help you line it up pretty straight. You can just make sure, like I can make sure it goes between all those little flowers right there and crosses in the same point. And then I'm just going to go in and trim off the ends of my die cut where it overhangs. And usually I will go back and add some bling or something, but I decided I wanted to keep it simple and I left this just as it is. But I did consider some sequins or some stickles or something in the middle of those flowers. So here's a look at that card again and here's another look. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.